I'm Kristen Hyde. WXXV News 25 is starting a brand new segment focused on some phenomenal women in the area called Amazing Women of South Mississippi. This week we are spotlighting Renee Marcellus from Long Beach. Renee, you are a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a volunteer, a RN, a homeschool teacher, and a veteran. <laughs> quite a list, quite yes. a list you got going on. <laughs> but, you know, what motivates you to be all you are for so many people in your life? Well, I've always felt of myself as a servant. Um, I feel like God has gifted me with the gift of hospitality, and I've always just served people. And um, I serve at my church, I serve my husband and my children, my grandchildren. Um, I just... Well, I try to model that servant. Gotcha. So um, what sparked the idea of being a foster mother? Because mm -hmm. I, from what I understand, you have adopted an, a son. Yes, yes. Well, my husband and I, for several years, um, we felt like God was telling us to do that. Our children had all grown and left the nest. And, um, you know, we had lots of love to give and, and we were financially sound. And we just felt like God was telling us to do that. After several years of kind of avoiding that situation, we finally <laughs> gave in and said, okay, God, if that's what you want, that's what we'll do. Um, we ended up fostering four children. Oh, wow. The fourth one that came to us was our current son, Noah. Um, he, they told us when they brought him that it, they were kind of looking for long-term placement, which kind of scared us. We were like, oh, well, okay, I don't know, but we'll see. And within a week we knew that we love that little boy with all our hearts. Gotcha. And um, he's been with us ever since. That is amazing. He'll be seven years old in October. Oh, wow, so, that is so amazing. Yeah. So I know you're an RN and you were in the Navy. Mm -hmm. So what um, you know motivated you or sparked you to be a servant in that way, in that capacity? Well, um, my mom was a nurse and I'd always kind of been drawn towards the medical field. I thought maybe I wanted to be a surgeon for a while, and then I decided, no, that's too much school. I don't, <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> so I went in the Navy um, about the time my husband and I got married and um, decided when I got out of the Navy that I would use my GI Bill to go to nursing school. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, went straight from nursing school into the operating room, and I've been there ever since, and I love it. Uh, currently, I'm stepped back a little bit. I only work occasionally because I do homeschool my son, and mm -hmm. I, I drive over to Alabama to babysit the youngest granddaughter once <laughs> a week. Um, so I like the freedom of not being at nine to five every day or, or six to three in our world. <laughs> so you have how many kids, how many grandkids? We have four children and eight grandchildren, ranging from 19 to one. Oh, wow. The children are from <laughs> 44 to six. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Renee, for coming in and talking to us and sharing your life with us because, we, you know, people like you are rare, you know, givers. Mm -hmm. So we just thank you so much for being who you are. Thank you. If you would like to submit someone for this segment, you can head over to our website and click on the Features tab and go to the Amazing Women of South Mississippi option. Fill in your contact info as well as your nominee's name and be sure to describe why you are nominating her. You just may see her on the next edition of the Amazing Women of South Mississippi. We'll be right back.